Some gold just really isn't worth the trouble. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hardest PlayStation trophies. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at those trophies that were more rage-inducing and frustrating than fun, and are basing our picks on a mix of time investment, sheer difficulty, and the stress involved in getting them. While many of these picks certainly make it hard to earn platinum trophies, we'll be covering platinum trophies on a list of their own. Number 10. Thanatophobia – Rogue Legacy While limiting deaths can certainly be a cool challenge, this is just cruel difficulty cranking. Named after the fear of death itself, this trophy in the already demanding side-scroller has definitely burned a few fans over the years. Requiring you to beat the game with 15 deaths or less, the challenge would already seem high for most gamers. But what makes this trophy particularly evil is the fact that dying is the only way to upgrade your character, making the game even harder to beat, and forcing potentially strategic deaths just to beat a game that normally averages around 100 deaths per normal run-through. Number 9. The White Rider, Middle-Earth, Shadow of Mordor So many grueling trophies demand the utmost skill from players, but the ones that demand luck are more than just a little cheeky. The challenge for this Tolkien-inspired trophy is to liberate 30 slaves in under 180 seconds, all while riding a Caragor who will not be happy about it. While the actual skill required to defeat the enemies holding the slaves is fairly minimal, especially with the Karagor's attacks, the time constraint definitely ramps things up. But the catch here is that the slaves are few and far between, making the trophy a matter of scouting and time management rather than player skill. Number 8. Hunter's Essence – Bloodborne Collectibles have definitely become a nuisance in games lately, but leave it to From Software to make that punishing too. Finally giving a little bit of utility to tedious collection fests, you can be forgiven for thinking that getting every weapon in the game would have been at very least a straightforward affair. Given the copious amounts of money, time, and even luck with dungeon layouts to score some of the easily missable weapons later in the game, the potential benefits of getting these items seems negligible, especially on top of the already devastating gameplay. Number 7. Requiem for a Killer – Batman Arkham Knight Simulation complete. When one challenge isn't hard enough, just stack them on top of each other. The latest installment in the Arkham series kept the intense but solid combat going while demanding even more from players because of it. To earn this monster of a trophy, players have to beat Killer Croc, but only after they've earned a 300x multiplier or 1 million points from fighting the Room of Goons before him. Like me. While either challenge is rough enough on its own, the stress of landing both is a painful feat, especially when your multiplier can get taken away at any moment by a stray goon who gets lucky. Number 6. Trial Athlete – Ultra Street Fighter 4 <laughs> Even though most players decide to main one character in fighting games, this trophy will have you mastering all of them, forcing players to explore the entire roster. This trophy requires you to beat all 24 challenges for each of the 35 characters, making it both a slog and a struggle to earn that trophy. <laughs> Try to counter this! <laughs> Between the mounting difficulty and having to adjust to each character after mastering the last, this was a test of mental fortitude as much as skill. They actually imported this trophy over from the game's previous iteration, so they made players suffer once more in their quests for platinum. Number 5. Master – Star Wars Battlefront not focusing your development on a real single-player campaign is one thing, but forcing players into your shoehorned-in horde mode? That's a whole other story. Entering a whole new level of frustration, this trophy requires you to earn all stars on each single-player mission on the Master difficulty. While this would be pretty standard grind in most games, the difficulty ramps up so dramatically that it's really hard to keep pace here, making the process turn from kinda manageable to unfair almost instantly. 
Along with the less than solid controls and level design, this requires so much time and effort that it has a 0.1% achievement rate amongst the community. Number 4. Ultimate Battler. Injustice, Gods Among Us. No! Fighting games really seem to enjoy testing their fans with the challenging modes, eh? Giving a twist on the Street Fighters trophy, this game forced players to beat every challenge of the battle mode with one extra hard mission to make the game worthy of its title. With enough hard challenges along the way to make this trophy a difficult enough trudge as it is, the hardest challenge took things in an interesting direction by forcing players to fight the entire roster. The conceit, however, was running this gauntlet on a single health bar, turning an interesting concept into maddening reality. Number 3. Is there anything you can't do? Trials Fusion. You know you're in for some trouble when they call the game Trials, a hard enough game in its own right. This puzzle racer gave a demanding but often fun and well-built grind to beat the whole game, but the layers they included to fully complete the game were downright sadistic. Completing an increasingly unnerving list of tasks, this trophy finds players completing all challenges and puzzles for each level, requiring steady thumbs and a keen eye along the way. Things get tough, however, with the no-fail challenges and even an invisible bike mode, giving even the best players a run for their money. Let's try a Number 2. I Can See For Miles Per Hour Surgeon Simulator Not too many trophies are this much harder with a controller, making players embrace those sloppy controls wholeheartedly. This trophy forces players to both work against and with the intentionally clunky design of the game to perform an eye transplant in under 2 minutes and 10 seconds, all while in a speeding and bumpy ambulance. All the worse, thanks to the inaccuracy when using a controller, this trophy's small focal point made that joystick twitching a painful exercise, made even worse by the unorthodox methods you need to conceive just to constantly stay ahead of the stress-inducing time limit. Number 1. Iron Titan – Titan Souls Even if you want to take your rough game to the next level, it still needs to be fair, right? For a game that's often been called a 2D Dark Souls, you'd think the developers would have considered the story mode enough of a challenge in and of itself. But unfortunately, thanks to the world of trophies, players are treated to this gem that not only has you dealing with the infamous one-hit deaths, but puts you back at the beginning of the game instead of a checkpoint. If that wasn't enough punishment, they also give each of the bosses extra moves, so you have even more patterns to memorize. Fun! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.